<clears throat> what up everyone um I had already recorded the audio to this thing so I didn't really think about having an intro for this originally I thought of the name I go on a long-winded rant about things that annoy me that I'm sure are just gonna annoy everyone else in the process but who cares let's do it anyway but that is way too long of a title, so I guess I'm just going to call this Unpopular Opinions, even though those have been around forever, but whatever, like, whatever. Let's just get into it. Whew. Let's do this, let's do this, let's do this, let's do this. All right, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Now, I know a lot of people are going to disagree with the first thing that I have to say, and I'm fully open to this. I'm fully understanding of how jarring this may be, and I am completely okay if some people will not understand this. Now, my first unpopular opinion is going to have to be that mac and cheese with sugar is fucking amazing. Now, before you get all up in arms about what I have to say, and like, obviously I am morbidly obese, and there's pr th this is probably one of the reasons why I have gotten into this state. But let me tell you, this isn't some Auntie Fee, like sweet treats for the c kids, RIP Auntie Fee, uh, you will always be missed, you will always be loved, and I miss you every day. I don't know, this is something for them kids, you know. You keep saying something for yeah, the kids. Yeah, what is a dessert? So when they so when they come ask for God it. God damn it, I ain't got no motherfucking name for it yet, motherfucker. So Shit. when they come ask for it, what they gonna say? Um let me tell you, mac and sugar, mac and sugar, mac and cheese with sugar is the shit. Now, when I was about 15 years old, my mom had married a man, so I guess he was my stepdad. I don't know why I phrased it like that. You stupid. They're not. Um, and I got to go to my first Sunday dinner. And uh, my Caucasian palate was not in store for what was about to happen to my taste buds. Like, I had no idea what was gonna happen. We had the fried catfish, the black eyed peas. We had the, the fried uh, the fried cabbage. You know, we had it all. We had, I, I remember that night distinctly because it was the first time over at Nana's house. That's what we called his mom. And um, it was very, it was interesting to me. I had never really experienced that. Um, someone who comes from an all white family, it was just, it was very interesting. The thing that did not make the most sense to me was there was a bowl of like sugar <laughs> in the middle of the table. And I was like, why is there? And I first I thought it was salt. I was like, why are they like spooning salt onto things? Like that's so weird because usually you see like a salt and pepper shaker and like, you know, you don't see like a bowl of salt. And so I like, I turned to, I turned to like, I don't know, what, what would it be like my step cousin? I don't know. And I was like, why is there like salt like that? She's like, oh, it's not salt, it's sugar. And I'm looking around at all the food and I'm like, there's nothing sweet. Like, is I'm like, is it, is it for the tea? Like, is it for, she's like, she's like, cause there was no tea. I was like, and the Kool-Aid's already sweet. And she's like, no, 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 we put it on our mac and cheese. And I was like, what the fuck? And so she <laughs> proceeded to show me like how she fucking did. She so like she get a spoonful of mac and cheese and she put a little bit of sugar on top, mix that shit in. She let me have a bite. Fucking fire. Let me tell you, it was fucking fire. Thank God for my reefer, man. This shit good. <laughs> Now, obviously, if you're trying to like lose weight out here and you're trying to unclog these artery, unclog these fucking veins and un and um, unharden these arteries, sh sugary mac and cheese is probably not the way to go. I'm just, it's probably not the way to go. But let me tell you, it was so fucking good. I had it, you, you think it's gonna be disgusting, and you're fully. I was fully prepared to throw up. I was fully 100% prepared to throw up in front of 16 people, and I, that's the exact opposite happened. S strangely, the pasta noodle and the cheese work together. Now you can't use that foo foo lame fucking Kraft mac and cheese. It has to be like homemade, home cooked casserole mac and cheese. And I'm not talking about the mac and cheese with like peas in it and shit. First of all, there shouldn't be like peas and other things in your mac and cheese. It should strictly just be noodles and cheese. That is all it should be. And you put some sugar on that shit, fucking fire. So fucking fire. I don't understand how someone came up with this from what I, I asked. I was like, where the fuck does this come from? And apparently it's a Southern thing. So maybe if you live in the South, you've heard of this. This isn't a new thing for you. But for me, it was definitely a new thing. And you know what? All of my Caucasian friends out there, try use some a little bit of mac and cheese with a little sugar on top. It's fucking fire and uh, you'll never go wrong. All right, next thing. I 
do not understand this. I have never been m much on the trend of buying like clothing that is trendy and expensive and overpriced. Like I think that that's really stupid. I think the most I've ever spent on a shirt is like 70 bucks. Um, the most I've spent on shoes is like $80. I never buy the most expensive brands out there because you use it and it gets worn down and it's just, it's not worth it. Yeezys are fucking ugly. I don't care what anyone has to fucking say about this. I said what I said. I said what I said. I said what I said. Yeezys are the ugliest fucking shoes I have ever fucking seen. They look like they are meant for geriatric patients. I don't understand what it is about these shoes that people love so much and why these kids out here are like in a in a jam to get them their Yeezys. They look like a, a, like a mix between Crocs and Uggs. And I'm sorry, but two ugly shoes do not make a cool shoe. They make an even uglier shoe. And his clothes are stupid too. I don't understand why everyone loves his clothes. They look like they're, they're pre-worn clothes. Like if you want some fucking Yeezy clothes or some Kanye clothes or whatever, bitch, we can go to the Goodwill and pick you out some fucking off-white shirts that are probably stained from the sweat that the man who wore them before caused. And you got you some like brand new Kanye clothes. I don't understand what it is about people needing things that are like trendy, and like needing, the, I don't get it. I don't understand it. I'll never understand it. Even in my heyday of playing basketball, I never really, I had a pair of Jordans. I had one pair of Jordans that I got for Christmas and I didn't understand why I had them because I wasn't allowed to play basketball in them. And I was, I had, was under the impression that if you had basketball shoes, you were supposed to wear them when you play basketball. But apparently that's not what Jordans are for. Apparently Jordans are for you to just look cool in. And God forbid someone steps on them or God forbid you fucking like get a grass stain on them or something or God forbid you did what the shoe was intended for, then they're useless. So I don't, I will never understand the Jordan craze. I, I will never understand the Yeezy shit. Yeezys are so, they look like, they look like they should be wrapped in toilet paper or something. I don't understand what the point of Yeezys are. They look, they look like moon shoes. I, they are ugly. They look like they are made of that like, old that play-doh that those kids used to get that like had grains in it before slime was cool i don't understand i don't like it and i'll never like it and if you think uses are cool i have a problem with you peace deuces i don't know what to tell you okay this is gonna be my last unpopular opinion and i know i know that people are going to be highly upset about this. I already know that people are gonna unsubscribe and I'm, it's okay. It's fine if this is, if this really hurts you deep down inside. I mean, if it really hurts you deep down inside, then maybe you need to do some soul searching, but I understand why this can be a tad bit controversial. And that is that Taco Bell is fucking garbage. I don't care what anyone says, Every time I've eaten there, and I can count on like one hand how many times I've eaten at Taco Bell because I grew up in Southern California, so we had taco shops and we had like even Del Taco. So if, if it really came to it and I was really in a bind and I couldn't wait for my like my fucking carnitas tacos or my pastor tacos, like, and I needed I needed something really fast, so I would go over to Del Taco and get me a, a bean and cheese burrito with green sauce real quick, so you know. And I always had my Caucasian friends that were like, we need to go to talk about why every time I go there I bite into a hard thing it doesn't matter what I get I could get a bean and cheese burrito I could get fucking I could just get a, a ladle of beans I'm gonna bite into a hard thing I don't think I would be able to find I will always bite into a hard thing and you know how unsettling it is to bite into a beef supreme burrito with the weird sauce that they put on everything that's another thing that's wrong with Taco Bell is they put that weird sauce on every fucking item that they have there they put it in the milkshakes they put it in the fucking slushies it's fucking weird that orangey creamy sauce does not need to be on everything but do you want to know how unsettling it is to bite into a beef supreme burrito or a beef chalupa and bite into a hard thing there's not supposed to be any hard things in this all this is a soft soft tortilla some fucking cheese and meat. Like, why am I biting into heart? Why am I almost breaking my teeth and having to go to a dentist for emergency surgery to get some veneers? That should not be happening at Taco Bell. Eating at Taco Bell does not make you that cool either. I'm so tired of people taking pictures of them with their Baja Blast. Yes, I will give it to you. Baja Blast is good. But now that you can get it in the store, who fucking cares? We don't even need to go to Taco Bell anymore. Another thing, why are Crunchwrap Supremes called Crunchwrap Supremes? They should be called Soggy Wrap Supremes. 
I've gotten two Crunchwrap Supremes in my life. First of all, every time you say no tomatoes, they always put tomatoes on it. It does. It never fails. And picking out tomatoes out of a Crunchwrap Supreme is probably uh, there's there's it's like almost being in the, the third circle of hell. Like it's it's fucking impossible. And also, there's nothing crunchy about a Crunchwrap Supreme until you bite into the hard thing. I mean, every the, I understand that that tostada shell or whatever that hard tostada shell in the middle is supposed to be crunchy, but it's never crunchy. By the time you get home and eat it, it's soggy. You know, and if you're over the age of 16 or 17 years old and you can drive, I no one's eating inside Taco Bell. Everyone's taking that shit home. No one's sitting and eating in Taco Bell. OK, so unless you're a minor. So I understand. And why is it? Why does it look like that? Why does it have six sides? I don't understand why it has those six perfect little triangle sides. Is it like some Illuminati shit? Are they trying to like awaken the beast is it like 666 the mark of six the mark of the beast i don't understand um not today satan and we need if you are if you really think that taco bell and i understand i get it okay taco bell isn't supposed to be authentic mexican food but i'll be damned if a ton of my caucasian friends do not think that taco bell is authentic mexican food like it it blows my mind if me hating on Taco Bell gets people unsubscribe me, so be it. I don't know what to say. So yeah, that's about everything I have to fucking say. Um, I understand that this could come off as me being a little bit ranty and preachy, but I feel like that's kind of on brand for me at this point. So we're going to keep at it. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Michael B. Petty. And until next time, toodles.